If you stand at the North or South Pole, the Earth will spin underneath you. If you stand anywhere else, it will push you in a tilted circle around its axis. Since we don't like to live at the North Pole, almost all of us are traveling between 600 and 1,000 miles an hour, just riding the Earth's rotation. If you live in New York, then at dawn you're hurtling toward the sun at 800 miles an hour, and at dusk you're flying away from it at the same speed, slightly faster than the speed of sound, which means it's a good thing the atmosphere is moving with us. Now as the Earth revolves around the sun, the far side of the Earth, the dark side, is pushing its passengers in the direction of that orbit around the sun, complementing the planetary speed, while the side that's getting daylight is moving opposite to the planet's overall course, subtracting from their total speed. In other words, we move faster at night. The Earth's orbiting the Sun at about 66,000 miles an hour, which is 87 times the speed of sound. Since the planet is 8,000 miles thick, it traverses its own diameter every seven minutes, occupying a completely different space in the solar system every seven minutes. But the sun is not stationary either. The sun is revolving around a black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy called Sagittarius A star. The sun completes its orbit once every quarter billion years and travels at 500,000 miles an hour to do it, pushing us along with it at half a million plus or minus Earth's 66,000 depending on what time of year it is. But Sagittarius A star and the whole Milky Way is also in motion and going even faster. And we know this because the cosmic microwave background radiation and echo of the Big Bang is a frame of reference we can measure against the movement of our galaxy. It suggests a relative speed of one and a quarter million miles an hour, pulling us along with it, plus or minus another half million from the sun, plus or minus 66,000 from the earth, plus or minus 800 based on the time of day, plus or minus 30 if you're riding the New York City subway. The universe can feel very bleak and very lonely when we first realize just how empty it is. Imagining ourselves sitting in an empty universe can inure a deep sense of hopelessness. However, we are not sitting still, and when you're hurtling through space at almost two million miles an hour, you're probably better off with nothing in the way.